All right, check out what I just picked up. This is an iBook G3 clamshell special edition in graphite in the original box. This is pretty amazing and I'm super excited about this because this is the final version of the clamshell iBook with the fastest processor that they ever released this with, the 466 megahertz G3. And it also came from the factory with a DVD instead of a CD-ROM. And this is the only version of this laptop that is officially compatible with macOS 10.4 Tiger because of that DVD-ROM drive. So I haven't opened this up yet, so we're gonna open it up together and see if this got here intact. So let's see what's in this box. Wow. They even included some silica gel. That's interesting. All right. And uh, some of the original styrofoam in here, but not all of it. And this looks pretty well wrapped, I guess. Look at that. Now, I knew it didn't come with the little inside Apple bit, and that's very disappointing. Uh, it's a little more discolored than I thought it was from the pictures, but this should be fully working. And little cosmetic stuff, you know, we can fix that. But yeah, wow, this looks pretty good. Handles intact. Let's pop a quick look at the screen. Yeah, looks like it's here intact. Keyboard is nice. Clicky mouse. Battery's dead. Makes sense. All right. Let's see what else is in this box. We have the original airport card packaging. That's cool. Airport driver CD. I have never seen this before. About your airport card. Includes information about the airport card and airport software. Step one, do you need to install the airport card? Yes. But I think that's already been installed, so sweet. I actually didn't know it came with this. And what else is in here? We have an aftermarket power supply, which I was a little bit worried about. The listing said it came with the yo-yo adapter, but I guess not, because this was in one of the pictures. But I was hoping it came with the original power adapter too. But as long as this works, we're good. And then what is this little box? Oh. We have the original RAM stick with 64 megs of RAM because this has been updated to, I think, 256. And we have the product registration, still sealed. That's pretty cool. <laughs> register your new product at apple.com slash register. I wonder if I should send these in. Could I still get my free subscription to Mac Addict Magazine if I do? Get the latest news at apple.com slash sign me up. Cool. Got my Apple Care service and support card and my limited warranty. Apple warrants this product against defects in materials and workmanship for a period of one year. So just a bit out of warranty. 
But that's all right, we can service this ourselves. All right, we've got our cool iBook Getting Started Guide. Never seen this before. Start up your iBook in four easy steps. Step one, power cord. Step two, plug it in. Step three, a modem. Step four, push the button with your finger. And then a nice little letter about Apple Care, Apple Software Proof of Purchase stuff, Mac OS Software Coupon. It's pretty cool that it came with all this stuff. I've never seen this cool box before. Funny enough, this SE came in this color and this color, but never in this color. All right. I think it's time to see if this laptop works. All right, moment of truth. It's alive. So unfortunately this thing is password protected, uh, but that's okay because I wanna do two things to this real quick. First is install uh, the maximum RAM. So I've got a 512 megabyte uh, SD RAM SIM here. And I also want to install Mac OS Tiger on DVD because that is what is special about this computer. So I'll go ahead and pop this open. Hello. And then we'll power this thing down. And unlike just about anything else on this computer, the memory is actually really easy to get to. There's just this little locking screw here, uh, which you have to rotate. And then these two clips come down and the keyboard lifts up. And we have our uh, Wi-Fi card here, which is nice to see. And then let's just disconnect the antenna. And then we even have this handy little diagram showing uh, what to lift off and how to do it to get into the memory slot. So we just have two screws here And then this plate lifts up and we have our memory. So in there now was a 256 megabyte Kingston module. So we'll replace that with a 512 megabyte computer bay module. There we go, fits right in.
And we'll put our screws back. Reconnect our airport card. And get our keyboard back in place. There we go, just like new. And unfortunately, when I was moving this around, I did see a bit of a problem. Looks like we have a, a kind of a dicey connection here on the charger port. So that's something I think we'll have to uh, take this apart and address that. And while we're at it, maybe we will toss an SSD in here. Uh, but for now, let's carefully try to install uh, Mac OS Tiger. All right, so let's power this on and hold down C to boot from the DVD and see if we can't get into the Mac OS X Tiger installer. Now, well, it looks like we did not want to boot into that installer. Uh, let's try that again. Hold down C to boot from the DVD drive. And it's making some noise, but it doesn't sound good. Hmm. Maybe we could try a different disc. All right, I put a 10.3 disc in there, which is on CD instead of DVD. And let's see if we can boot off of that. It's already sounding better. All right, looks like we made it into the installation disc and we'll let it finish booting up here. And then we can at least verify what we have in this machine. So let's go to uh, Disk Utility. All right, we have a 9.4 gig hard drive. And then this is a Machida, Machida, how do you pronounce that? Machida DVD-ROM. So I don't know why it doesn't want to read my single layer DVD-R. Uh, it's not like it's anything fancy. And my cat is snoring right now. I thought you might want to hear that. All right, so I booted up into a Puma install CD. So now we can just go ahead and reset the password for this computer, which of course is super secure. So let's go to the main user here and set a nice new secure password. And let's do an administrator password. And 
then whatever this test account is, we'll reset that password too. All right, this computer is now mine. All right, let's see if our new password works. And we're in. Well, it is crazy that it's that easy to just bust into somebody's computer in the 90s, I guess, if you had an install CD. Or I guess 2001 security was not as good as today's security. So I don't really care to snoop around on these files in here because I don't think this person wiped the computer. But I do want to see if this will read the DVD at all. All right, let's eject that. Put in our Tiger DVD. Nope, it's just making a bunch of goofy noises. Well, I think we have a list of things to check out on this computer in a future video. Uh, we've got to take care of this stupid power connector here that's broken. We've got to figure out why it doesn't want to read the 10.4 DVD. Uh, but most importantly, we have to do major surgery to put in this M.2 SSD using this IDE adapter, which is the same one I've got in my titanium PowerBook G4, and it works great. Uh, it's going to make this thing super fast. The only problem is we have to take this whole computer like 100% apart to get to the hard drive. People joke that they built this computer around the hard drive. So the hard drive is way down at the bottom here and there's no access from the bottom up. You have to take off the whole keyboard, the palm rest assembly. You have to take the screen off to take off some of the inner structure to get down all the way down to the hard drive, which is at the very bottom. So that'll be its own video. Uh, we'll take care of that, plus try to re resolder this power connector. Uh, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.